hi everyone thanks for watching this video in this video I am going to explain how to calculate the estimations uh, using MS project tool so here we are going to estimate the durations of a task using PERT formula so PERT formula is like PERT program evaluations and review technique what is the formula formula is that if you have optimistic value pessimistic value and most likely value then we can derive the estimated duration using this formula o plus p plus 4 into most likely divided by 6 so how do we achieve this in ms project so we need to create the custom fields so we are going to create first custom field uh, which is optimistic value then we are going to do pessimistic value and then we'll have a uh, most likely value which is custom field 3 and then another custom field which will be the formula field which is custom field 4 and then we are going to uh, make a formula on this custom field 4 and so how can you expect expose this data to MS project so I'll be just opening Microsoft Project Professional 2016 and here it is a just a blank project so here let me show you in, in, in MS project uh, there are lot of data which are available in terms of a tab so uh, in the project tab you can see that custom field and here if I click on the custom field we can get lot of blank fields like text or maybe duration so here we are using duration so if you look at it microsoft project there are total 10 durations available so what i'm going to do i'm going to use those fields and uh, put a formula on top of it so let's say first duration field i'm going to make it optimus state which is nothing but o just rename the field and then so that that helps uh, to identify later and then this is called PESI which is P and then duration 3 you are say most likely so you can give a space also not going to have any problem so let's say this is called M and then there is another called duration 4 which I am going to say estimated duration and bracket P equal to now we are going to use this duration for which is now estimated duration for a formula so we can use this formula click OK and click on the formula and write down the formula here for example go to the field and use those custom uh, fields in this formula so what is my uh, formula durations and then custom durations optimistic then use uh, that plus then I can use the formula pessimistic plus field here durations most likely multiplied by 4 then we are going to use this a bracket let's say I will make a first bracket here and ending here also the first bracket because you have to divide the whole formula divided by 6 divided by 6 so this is the formula and if I click OK then click OK here then what we are going to do we are going to roll this formula so roll this formula up to the summary level and then click ok now let's see how this formula is coming all together so I have a let's say uh, let's create a task called development activities development activities I'm going to create let's say uh, three tasks coding and then unit testing 
and then let's say uh, some other uh, functionalities for example peer code review one more task I'm going to use peer code review then says as usual code complete so let's say we have four activities I'm going to make this as a uh, indent so that it become the child task now durations so idea is to create the durations based on word analysis so how do you do let's keep these durations we need to fill that durations later so I'll create those field optimistic pessimistic most likely and then here one more is the final durations called estimated duration which is but right now all are zero so now let's say how do we derive so before we come to the original durations which we are supposed to put this ms project for the actual making the actual schedule so if i put let's say coding takes uh, optimistic if you are having a optimist value let's say uh, best case scenario so let's say take five days and then worst case scenario maybe it takes uh, uh, maybe eight days and then most likely people say okay I can finish this in six days so the moment you put this you can automatically see that uh, estimated duration is 6.17 day the moment uh, you have this then discuss as a team that can we make this 6.17 or maybe six and a half days so put 6.5 D so you are good with that now unit testing maybe say okay I don't need the complete uh, five days maybe some part of doing so make sure that you are consuming the timing so two days and then pessimistic value four days and most likely three days so you get that three days so put three days here same way peer code review if you see that I have one day and pessimistic maybe three days and most likely two days so you can say that two days put over two days and of course code complete this is a milestone we want to put that so I put zero durations so here if you look at it the duration estimations here like going to the summary level right but in this calculations MS project uh, is total summing of the durations not like the max value so if you look at it the durations here because these tasks are all started together so duration is 6.5 days here 11.17 days why it's happened look at it so I'll go back to my custom field and then relook that here the roll up is saying that sum so if I say the maximum value so I click ok so it gives us 6.17 days right now if I make this task finish to start relationship for example that uh, will keep a link so if you look at it those tasks are now finished to start relationship and then total duration is 11.5 days but here it is estimated duration is 6.17 because it, it's it's how you want to look at it but idea is that for each and every activities how this formula is going to uh, give you the value here so that by using directly on the ms project tool you can do a board estimations and define your durations okay before closing let's have a look if we make now the sum it is now saying that finish to start relationship so total durations of this activity 11.5 days but here as we have taken the max value it took the maximum of this uh, task duration so we we'll go back and go to the project and change the custom field again to roll up value of this they say durations so if you look at it here that I'll go back to the summary level so it will make the sum of all those things so if you see that 11.17 so you can switch between those uh, roll up value 
just to uh, compare the data but this is one time activity the moment you are done with all your activities which are estimated because estimations is being done on the activity level then you can select all of them and hide the field right then you can closely get um, the value of the estimations what is coming into in this project that's all in this video uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you want many more videos to watch subscribe my channel and then a lot of new videos are upcoming uh, planned so you can get your notifications once you subscribe this channel thank you